Heap, everybody. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> a lot of my them. friends. <laughs> There he is. Hi, sweetie. Hello. Good morning, everybody. And we live. Hello. <laughs> SP TV. I don't appear to be smited. <laughs> We're alive. We made it. We're back. <laughs> <gasps> hello everybody we have risen hello. again yes <laughs> yes we have for those that do not know earlier today we try to do a stream all about the rapture um and a very triggering movie that you were made to watch as a young uh young pentecostalist i don't know what the words are for that um unfortunately the youtube gods were not happy with us they and they booted our us video. <laughs> They did. They raptured us right off of the live stream. So we will not be showing the movie this time, but we're still going to discuss it because it, we, we were having a really good chat. I'm kind of gutted that they got rid of our chat. Um, but we're still going to talk about it. Thank you guys for joining us again. Uh, this has all come up because of the solar eclipse from yesterday, which yeah. apparently every time the solar eclipse happens... Some very extremists believe that they that is the end times, and we have to repent before, before. Well, you can you tell me what happens then? <laughs> Redemption, drive nigh. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh boy, <laughs> I'm gonna do this again, huh? Um. So the rapture is basically Jesus coming back to Earth because you know he he was born in a manger of a virgin. He walked the earth next to Gertie. Our, next to Gertie. Next to Gertie. Yes. Yeah. And he was crucified at 33 years old for our sins, right? He and and anyone who believes this, you know, I'm not picking on that. I'm just telling you, you know, just kind of giving you back backstory, okay? And then we'll get into a little more extreme beliefs. So he was crucified for our sins. He was the Son of God, part of the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, right? This is what Christians believe. Most Christians do believe this. And he was crucified. He rose again after three days. Um, he walked the earth for 40 days. And 40 nights with his disciples and then he was ascended into heaven now his second coming is going to be in the clouds right he's not going to be born as a person he's going to basically meet his people his people are going to be raptured or taken up from um from the earth the dead in christ shall rise so um i just wanted Wait, to mention so he doesn't this. come back down here no he meets you in the clouds oh if were, yeah if you're a christian i always thought that he was like you're caught up give it another go you know be born in a local hospital no, and then, you know, go no. to uni and be like, yeah, <laughs> I know that would be cool. Well, they they have done what was it, Jesus Christ Superstar? I think they did that. No. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think if it's anyone, I think Keanu Reeves is the closest we've got. I think he's the most wholesome, wholesome man on the internet. Yeah, I think in you're right. <laughs> I think you're right. But does it? Does it Jesus? I think Jesus does um, come down onto the the Mount of Olives when he when he releases the the judgment seals, you know, the wrath of God, but that's after, you know, his people are all gone. Right. Okay. So the thing I want to mention about the dead, which is it actually, I think is pretty interesting, at least in, in my uh, Pentecostal family, it's a no, no to get cremated when you die because the Bible says, and this is what their interpretation is that the dead in Christ shall rise first. So your soul is in heaven, but your body's still on earth. And God like basically gives you a new body, but your dead body rises up. So you can't be cremated or else. How would God take all the little pieces of ashes to make your new body out of your old body or something like that? I don't know. So anyways, all I'm saying is that they don't believe in cremation. Trigger warning. Yes, absolutely. Trigger warning. So it's basically like the, the, the whole world is going to hell in a handbasket, right? So God's just like, man, you know, I I already destroyed the, the world with flood. 
And mm. these people came back and they're sinning again, right? And some of them won't listen to me and they won't become um, my servants, my, you know, my love slaves, basically. They won't accept me into their heart. And we talked about the sinner's prayer. You can look it up. There's all kinds of different sinner's prayers. But so now he's got to destroy the earth with, with tribulation and fire. Because he, he promised right. this is the rainbow. Um, he gave a promise he's not going to destroy it with flood. So he's going to take his righteous up, just like he he um, spared jo um, Noah and his family in the ark. He's going to take his, his people up. So there was all these, always these warnings as a kid. Uh, in this movie, I will put the link. You guys can watch it. It's on YouTube. It's under Christian Films. For some reason, I don't know. I mean, my theory, and it could be totally wrong, could just be the algorithm gods. But we talk about how powerful Scientology is. The religious right, and I'm you know not talking about extreme. I'm talking about extreme right. Um, the evangelical extreme religious right. You think Scientology is powerful? <laughs> they are fucking powerful, majorly powerful. So that's like Westboro Baptist. Are they are they extreme? Yeah, they're extreme, but they don't really they they don't have as you know as much power. I would say that kind of extreme. I'm talking about more. Um, lobbyists, you know, people who are really um, influential. And there's plenty of rich, you, you saw with this guy, I played the clip earlier. I did play the clip on my video yesterday. It hasn't gotten striked or anything. This John Haggy guy, he's worth $8 million. There's so many. Yeah. Tiny hands. We call him tiny <laughs> hands. Right. <laughs> he does have so, tiny hands. <laughs> yeah. They're a bunch of loons. Yeah. They, you're right, Blakey. They, they are. You're right about that. So we, we played clips from this film um i'll just try to give you like the rundown real quick and then i want to show you some images from the end um it's really hard for me to show these but i will so if you you know run through the film it's based on this this woman her name is patty this young lady um mm -hmm. she she had christians in her family but she was never be, she never became a christian right she missed the rapture and she found out that all of the Christians in her family were were right. Her husband um, was taken up in in the rapture. Her she lost her granny, her granny, and her best friend, all gone. So she was left with a quandary. And someone um, in her circle of friendship basically ratted on her that she was refusing to take the mark of the beast. No, the mark of the beast is the mark of the antichrist, and it's not the real Christ; it's the antichrist, right? So in the end, it says after. After the rapture, people that are remain, the tribulation starts. And you talk about the four horsemen. We went through that in the last video. They got strike. Hopefully it will be back. And that happens. And then the people that remain, the, they have to make a choice. Either they're going to be martyred, in which off of their head, or um, they have to take the, the mark of the beast and they'll be able to buy and sell, eat and do all the, the things that humans need to do, right? But when the judgment comes and um, God, like, you know, brings the hellfire and throws everybody in hell, they will go to hell because they have the mercy. Oh, but it's not straight yeah. away. Like they can live the rest of their life. Um, well, they're in the tribulation and then comes the judgment. So yeah, I don't think it's not going to be fun, but it's better. I don't know that that was my quandary as a kid, as a nine, 10 year old watching this movie in the dark <laughs> at night in a church a cold yeah. dirt church pew right i don't even so, know how you can even think of like what to do as a kid like with that i just don't understand how you yeah. can even contemplate what that means you know yeah. so it's 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 really awful that they showed you that marilyn and like you know <laughs> i commend you for for being here hey it's all right you know you're facing your fear we don't have to look at it. And there's loads of people in this chat right now as well that um, have also had to see this, you know, and um, kids can't consent. You know, that is the no. truth. Kids cannot consent to any extremism in um, religion or otherwise. So yeah, if, if um, adults want to believe this shit, they can. But doing this to children and I'm not the only one. And if you even read those um, the comments on that video, they're awful. People are like, oh, I saw this when I was nine or 10 and now I believe it, but whatever. I mean, I, and ha half my friend and appropriate half, so many people have contacted me after I just even mentioned the name of this film. 
they yeah. caught so many, I'd say dozen, a dozen people at least have told me they saw this as a kid and were horribly traumatized. And this movie alone was enough to um, traumatize me, terrorize me my entire life. You yeah. know, so um, <clears throat> all right. I I want I want to get it out because I think it's important because this isn't just from the 70s what happened to me there there are other things that are being used as indoctrin you know fear based indoctrination that are terrorizing children to this day there's something called hell houses which scares kids straight uh, they where they're going in like a like a Halloween you know like a haunted house but it's not yeah. for fun it's not for fun it's just showing like them. abortion and gay yes. people and and, and hell and devil and yeah all kinds of scary things as little little kids little kids and it's so wrong it's so inappropriate and it's just plain evil plain evil so I just want to um show you a couple things from the end of this film because this was the most um it, it left an indelible mark on um, on my mind and my emotions, right? And um, even now, it's going to be hard to show. But I was going to show the clip. I can't. I can't because of the whole fair use thing. I don't know what's going on with that. But we did go through some clips of the movie. Um, so basically, Patty was faced with a choice at the end. She was sitting in a church pew, and I'm going to show you um, at the stage. Okay. So she's sitting in the church pew. Um, these are all the people that were rounded up that hadn't taken the mark of the beast. And mm -hmm. pretty much everybody around her has made the decision to be martyred, to be executed, right? She is still wavering. And she's like, if only I had listened to that minister. Oh, <laughs> that's me. That's me. If only I'd listened to that minister who was preaching the gospel. Uh, back when, and she said it would have been so easy to just say the sinner's prayer. All she had to do was say the sinner's prayer and accept Jesus Christ as her personal savior. And yeah, but she didn't, she didn't do it. Right. So here she is. All she had to do was say the sinner's prayer. That's all it would saved her from all this. Right. So well, what if it's said oh, falsely, like, you know, if you believe it, that I think you can't ever make someone believe something, right. Because it's, because it's about faith if you don't believe it you just never will like you, you, do you know right. what i mean i don't i don't yeah. know how so saying it would be fake no or well if you see in the beginning there's like oh she's trying she's trying and they're like just say it just say it just do it or go take the mark of the beast and it was like just do it just do it they're pressuring her to say it and sometimes i've heard even you know in my church it was like well if you confess it then you'll believe it like you basically trick yourself into believing it and it, and also it appeases their conscience because if people are are uh preaching to you and proselytizing you and they get you to say the sinner's prayer that's a notch on their belt with god that is a uh a, a, a jewel a jewel in their no. crown that's a jewel in their crown you know it's like get their, those god their points stats, their stats are up their stats are up with god you know so yeah, it, it's it's pressure. I mean, I I've said the sinner's prayer a bunch of times. I've um also faked speaking in tongues because people would say, Well, if you open your mouth, it'll become real. So I would just be like, open my mouth and go, -da 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 whatever. The name of the movie is is uh it's called A Distant Thunder, and it's um part of the A Thief in the Night series. You'll find it on YouTube. It's on under Christian films. And uh, I'll, I'll I wonder the why theirs isn't thing. struck because it's weird that it's on YouTube, but theirs hasn't got taken down. Yeah, they must have yeah, some kind we, of permission. We get taken down for yeah, it must and, be a permissions thing. And completely. I'll tell you, I'm I'm 99 sure that they scrub the comments too. Ooh, spicy! Because only <laughs> Christians, yeah, only nice comments are there. Yeah. So, oh boy. Um, let me uh, show the rest of it. So. She still hasn't made up her mind, Patty, but she's hauled out. They, for some reason, they, they had a wardrobe change really quick. Cause if you can see, you know, they're, oh, sorry. They're sitting on the pew wearing street clothes. Right. And uh -huh. her, her friend there has like a arm, um, cast or whatever on, um, uh, sling. And, uh, so she's reminiscing and then they go, they haul them outside and they put them in white robes. Okay. And uh, 
they put them blindfolds on. I wish I could show you this because, but maybe I shouldn't. Um, they put the blindfolds on them. They're wearing white robes and they're being hauled outside. Okay. And they take off Patty's blindfold. And this is what she says. And I'm telling you this, I remember like yesterday. Yep. You see, see the blood and the guillotine. Yeah. Mm hmm okay yeah. and so for you then obviously as a little kid i can understand that any any young person would would be shown this as part of their you know religious group whatever and believe it did you literally believe this was what was going to happen absolutely i put myself in patty's place yeah yeah I, and um, until what age like what age did you think like oh that's not that's not the future you know like like 45 50 no that's so scary you know that's so scary hey you don't need to cry you'll be missing the rapture with me <laughs> <laughs> you know well like i said on the other video even this morning you know just um thinking about these things and finding the timestamps. my husband left the house without saying goodbye and i was looking for him and it, it was it's just it's so ingrained in me i was like oh, the rapture happened and then i couldn't find the dogs and i was like my dogs are raptured too it was just a split second a split second Duh. Yeah. that's not true he went hiking <laughs> you Listen, know but it could be worse right you can be slumming it in headless heaven with me <laughs> <laughs> that's right someone had <laughs> asked someone had asked in the other video what is what is headless heaven it's just a joke i i say but it really <laughs> is kind of true because they um believe that if if you don't take the mark of the beast, if you miss the rapture you don't take the mark of the beast your only other option is to be martyred or most likely beheaded because there, there is something in the bible that says that there were martyrs that were beheaded for the the gospel of the lord jesus christ okay so that happens and then you get to go to heaven but what i was taught is you don't you don't get a mansion because you miss the rapture and so I, so I used to think <laughs> like do i just show up with my head in my hand because you know your your body is resurrected so and god makes you a new body but before it makes you a new body do you is it under your arm i mean i don't know so i figured i was just gonna get a slum shack in heaven and i might get my head back not sure mm. so i just call it slum headless slum heaven that's what call it. it's just a joke it's a joke but you know not totally either you know no yeah no i'm i'm here for it well so i want to show you the rest of those pictures because you know yes, the, the suspense the suspense okay <laughs> um so it this will explain some of the things that happened um that i explained earlier so she didn't listen she didn't say the center's prayer so she was hauled outside and shown that she's screaming. You know, she's pretty much screaming through this whole movie, right? She's terrorized through this entire movie. Yeah. Poor Patty. And all of a sudden, her friends show up. They had taken the mark of the beast. Look at them. Aren't they sweet? Aren't they nice? And they had turned her in. And that is quite a mustache. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's to the mustache alone. And uh, so they turned her in. And the twist in this is somebody was a there was a mole there was a traitor there was a werewolf in their midst that was no. monitoring your every yes yes you're never gonna believe who it is who the little sister she took the mark oh. of the beast and she was tattling on them oh yeah my. the little sister i would have not seen that come in me either <laughs> yep. no i know that was even worse then i couldn't trust anybody you know and so yeah, her so friend Wendy, her friend Wendy, uh, see everybody's mm -hmm. dressed in white. Um, she's a real believer, you know. She's she's committed. She's committed. They gave her one last chance, you know, in the in the movie. They gave her one last chance, and she decided that she would rather be martyred. And so, um, in the movie, it pans to her, then it pans to, um, sorry. That's okay. Sure. You take your time. You take your Daddy, time. Daddy's face. And you hear, I remember this like so many times, like thousands of times that sound has come through my head. And it's ch -ch -ch. she got her head chopped off. And this is the last scene of the movie. I remember it like yesterday. We never find out what she decided. That's how the movie ends with that look on her face. And that's it. Wow. 
And that's supposedly to leave you guys with the same, A, to imagine what happens, right? So they're not actually showing you a beheading because that is so out there. Or do they show you? Do they actually show it? In no, any, but any I, point? I mean, in so many ways, she, she bends down and um, you yeah. hear it. You hear it. It's okay. It's so fucking messed up. It is the children, you're right. and I'm not the only child. There's thousands and thousands of children. Yeah, maybe yeah, even millions. Can... Yeah, and seeing this, of course, it's going to scare the living heck out of you. Like, um, you know, and any any groups using fear like this, fear in movies, and um, you know, I remember you said you and had from to do religion all the... saw it. Yeah, yeah, so the, many the people. whole fire and fire and brimstone thing like you know you've already gone through such a traumatic growing up with your with your family and stuff you know and you are so freaking loved in here by the way no, everyone no. <laughs> it's okay don't apologize <laughs> you want to take a minute i can stop Everyone is sharing the love in the chat. They are. And it's not, you know, it's not only me. And that's why um, I'm willing to talk about this. I'm willing to do it if it can help somebody else and actually bring and bring um, shed light on this. That there's children that are suffering to this day. Not only 50-year-old children, but children that are actually in in um, these churches right now that are being scared shitless yeah and it's so wrong it's like it's not like they're being um you know physically starved or i mean some of them are some of them are being i was you know you know as an adult but some of them are actually being whipped with that that horrible book that i always you know they're being tortured mentally and spiritually and emotionally and physically physically so many of them so it's, it it does keep me awake at night sometimes and i'm willing to right. talk about it because you know we talk a lot about scientology and this is why i can relate you know children can't consent i didn't consent to this yeah and i think you're you know? so freaking brave like you know i know how how hard it is to revisit this stuff and you're doing it because you don't want you know, you want to you want to show it to the people to go. This was messed up that we were shown this. You know, and that's um that's exactly what um people that have, will need you know to relate to. So I think you're really brave for doing that. Um, you know, everyone's everyone's love giving you, you so much love down Sorry. here. <laughs> it's all right. Don't, I, don't guess I, thought I, was, I thought I was ready to do it without crying, but you guys know me, and uh, this is you know one of the reasons why I'm such a mess sometimes is that it's just. Religion can be used as a weapon, and it is used as a weapon too often. Yeah, no, I I completely yeah. agree with you. You know, on that, I do. I think um, it is it has caused many wars, um, and you know what it does to individuals, the guilt and stuff that it puts on, uh, you know, young kids, and the not being able to measure up to whatever these impossible standards are like yeah. it's it's so difficult and um you it know, is how they control you right yeah it's... and props to you for being here right now and going yeah. we're, we're gonna look at this and you know call it out for its bs because you're right kids can't consent to this and why the hell should they we have we have ratings on horror films for a reason you know because they can um, be damaging to young people that watch them so why is this okay um, with these horribly violent themes, um, why is that okay to show to children, you know? Yeah. And uh, Miss Sunrise Dawn said, I'm a Christian, but that crap is wrong. Terrifying children has no place in my faith. Right. And the thing is, you know, when you talk about extreme right wing fundamental, fundamental means the interpretation is word for word for word, whatever they interpret that as, as, but it's like God you know, the Bible says it, I believe it, and that's it. So they don't believe anything's allegorical, right? They don't believe in reading something and taking, um, you know, a lesson out of it, right? So this whole horseman and everything, they believe it. 
They believe the beheading. They believe all this stuff. And they teach their kids and they use fear-based, you know, tactics to indoctrinate children like I was, you know. And I feel like it's taken the rest of my life to not be afraid of these things. I mean, it's never, ever too late. You know, um, we we see stories of people leaving cults well into their 50s um, 60s and stuff, you know, and I don't think it ever is too late. Um, and you can't mourn the time you missed, really, because all you can do is, you know, enjoy enjoy the rest of, of what's to come, you know. Um, and we do learn from this stuff, this crazy, crazy crap that we go through, you know. Um, and you're not alone. You're so not alone. Um, and um, so many of the people I can see in the chat as well are, are you know, awesome. uh, really relating to you with this, um, you know, yeah. and you guys in there, I'm sorry if you guys had to watch this this film that we're talking about as a kid too. Um, we never, I never watched anything even remotely similar to that. Um, you know, the rapture as a, as a thing, um, I, I don't know, I guess because it wasn't taught to me, I always thought, well, that's just a bit silly really, isn't it? But it's, it's, um, really scary when it's what you've been taught to believe, right? In a literal yeah. sense, that's terrifying. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm glad my kids got out of the cult and doesn't don't have that fear and that foreboding and that terror just hanging over their head all the time, you know? Yeah. Like my God was not a God of love. It was a God with like a hammer ready to just bop you anytime you step out of line, which was a lot, you know? Yeah. Which is, so. is the result of people um, misusing the power they have as lead spiritual leaders right and you know um i know you've got some uh uh questions and pushback on whether uh the sort of pentecostal thing you was in the door of hope it's like is that a cult and it's yes it is a cult because you had a you know your um uh charismatic leader um controlling a very small number of you every single no. day day in day out um controlling your sleep your food your work everything Mm -hmm. and this stuff is not dissimilar to Scientology and other cults like it's the 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 doctrine might be different with all these things you guys but um the results are the same it's total control and it's authoritarian and that is what we're fighting against and when it's happening to children it's really wrong it's really really wrong um which is why we're all here it's why we're all making yeah. videos and making people aware of this stuff you know sorry me just <laughs> run in a bit there but you know um i I, I commend yeah. you for talking about it i do because this stuff is you know I, i'm sorry it's i wish i could hug you through the screen you know i wish i could just soon <laughs> jump in and give you a hug <laughs> soon um, we're gonna spend a lot of time together i can't wait <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, yeah. you know. And um we we're, we're so lucky to have you here. Like I love watching your videos. You're you know, you provide so much um like a safe space for people to talk about things that are going on and you know, you need a safe space too to talk about these things. So I appreciate that so much because yeah, I mean, the last last several have been really silly, you know. Yesterday we kind of Duncan and I kind of made fun of <laughs> the I didn't see Duncan and all that. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. My one of my uh, I consulted on um, one of my consultants and that was <laughs> a scientist. <laughs> guests. <laughs> my scientists, I don't know. They just kind of come, they just kind of hang out <laughs> in my house. <laughs> yes, I had uh Joseph Joseph J. Joseph the other day, my legal mm. consultant of uh the law offices of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. And then yesterday I had the scientist, <laughs> doc, Dr. Cyrus Skelton, PhD, uh, the astronomer at large. I had him. Yes. So. <laughs> and today all, I, all, today all we had was tiny hands and uh, on the screen. screen. And I, I believe he is a cult leader. I, I would say that John Hagee, who has a mega church. Uh, he's a televangelist and he's talking about the four blood moons, trying to sell his book worth $8 million has a huge following. Um, it's alleged that he's covered up, uh, essay crimes. And I do have a friend that I think I mentioned in the other video it's struck down right now that, uh, <laughs> will be coming, coming on soon to talk about, um, 
their experience in his church. Oh, cool. So, awesome. yeah. And I think it's just one example of so many, so many. So how awesome is that? That like people reach out to you from all of these other, you know, other yeah. Christian spin off. I call them spin offs. I know that's spin-off, not the right, right term, but when it becomes sex. culty, sex. Let's yeah. talk about sex. sex. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. <laughs> you know, um, and yeah, when it gets like that, you know, I love that people can reach out and and have to get in touch with you about this stuff because you know it's helpful to people. And I know that sharing the stories it does it's empowering isn't it because you've sort of sworn yeah. into some secrecy for so long yeah i feel like this is healing because it's one of those things where i was i just accepted it as fact you know that's something i was going to have to face someday and uh i appreciate you so much um for being willing to come on with me and talk about this crazy shit <laughs> oh absolutely don't get my and channel back though please I'm sorry <laughs> I had no idea. I thought we might get, you know, no, like you were a right. little copy, copyright, but they took us down. They raptured our video. It's I think mean. it was it was quite dramatic for anyone that wasn't there. We literally were in the middle of the live stream. They tried, they took us down once, but people, Twice. the stream was still going and then they axed it and they pulled us completely off. Yeah. Um, I hope that wasn't two strikes. <laughs> No, no. It was, for me, it was just a what it says. It's a copyright warning, basically. Okay. So, the, yeah, they identified the ID in it, and they identified the ID. They had some evidence-based evidence, and yeah. they uh, <laughs> they struck it for that. But no, we're all good. We're all good. Um, anyone that had uh, comments, we did star a bunch of them and super chats and things. I hope you guys get those. Anyone that left yeah. one, I hope it gets refunded. I don't know where it goes. I don't think we get it. I, I have no idea um sorry about that and anyone that that joined either of our channels we appreciate that we think we it was the film not tiny hands film. no no because i i played tiny hands yesterday and it didn't seem to be a problem so yeah so looks like Never we got mind. some we should <laughs> we should uh welcome new members and oh thank you larry gifting thank kelly you, captor larry. membership Thank you, thank you. Become a propeller today. You can support the channel. It's the best yes. way to support your favorite creators. Um, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. I uploaded a new song today for my Yes, mentor. I saw oh. that. Beautiful. Oh. oh my god, I love it. Yeah, just <laughs> it's worth joining just for that and to get a propeller next to your name. <laughs> That's the best. And oh, for the yeah. best emojis on SPTV, you can uh, sign up for Marilyn's memberships and get a cub next to your name. Lily Castle, thank you so much for the super chat. Kelly, I watched that movie as a kid and had nightmares for months. Thank you for talking about it. It took me years to to find my own path to faith. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you've it's found your uh, own way through. Um, gosh, I'm, I can't believe how many people have seen this movie. Like, I'm actually shocked. Yeah, you know? me too. Me too. I I thought it was just our church. Nope. It was widespread. And that, that made me want to talk about it all the more, you know. So, oh, Keela McDonald, member for three hey! months on your channel. Thank you so much, Keela. Keela You've you had are... memberships for three months. That's amazing. I know. And Keela, you are one of the most supportive people ever on here. I know you've gifted so many memberships. And there it is. Look. <laughs> Thank you so much. You are a superstar. You, I really, really appreciate your support. Thank you so much, Keela. Yay. Got five new propellers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey. I'm sorry. I did the seal clap for anyone who doesn't know. It's just it, it's a it's a reflex. <laughs> That's all right. Oh you seal goodness. clap away. I love it. One of us, I don't know who this is for, but Dan Muscarada. Thank you. Musqueda. Square Thank you, Dan Masqueda. I think feel like I know Dan Masqueda. I can I call him Dan Masquerada, like Masquerada. <laughs> the Macarena. <laughs> Dan Macarena. Sorry, sorry, Dan. Masqueda. Masqueda. Okay. Masqueda. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, oh, Dan. Whoever you, whoever you signed up for, thank you very much. Yeah. We got uh, Steve Spears says your biscuits burning. Why not take out that frustration on the like button? Give it a little smack. You'll feel better. Yes. If you can like and subscribe, that would be awesome. <laughs> you want to go through some of these, honey? Yeah, sure. I am. Um, I was just looking in the in the some. live chat. Um, oh, okay. Let me read some of these out. Um, okay. 
Yeah. We'll swap. You can look in the live and I'll just, okay. I'll do the reading. I'll do that. Uh, this yeah. looks like, hold on, let me move this so I can see it a bit better. This looks like the power of radical religious people. Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindu, Buddhists, and their offspring, they just don't want you to discuss their holy thoughts and doings. T-M-H-O. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, but the thing is, extremism right. in anything is is just, an issue, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, and that's I think what they're saying about the radicalism, right? Anything that extremes goes are bad, dream extremes are bad. Yeah, we mm -hmm. we can all agree on that. I think. Yep. Um, hold on, I'm trying to get it on my screen where I can see it because I've got my camera like right there. Oh, then it's on my screen here, so I, I can actually really see that. it. You two need to repent or disappear again. <laughs> I think it's fair enough. <laughs> I know. I was like, oh no, it's a sign from God. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah we'll uh we'll get right on that we're um i don't plan on repenting anytime soon um but <laughs> we we shouldn't disappear this time we should be all right Ison says <sighs> kind of ironic that this video gets copyrighted don't they want to spread the word of god wide it's a movie yeah. movie people have copyrights and ownerships and whatever um and i guess uh you can do certain things with permissions um but we didn't have permission, so there you go. Um, Lathanda Grau. Hello. She Hi, says, Lathanda. Question, what happens to the gifted memberships from the deleted streams? Are gifted five memberships to each channel? Are they still there? I don't know. We need to find that out for sure, Lathanda. Okay, I hope we'll find so. it out. Um, I'll go into a studio oh. later and find it. Yeah, I should be able to see that. You know what? We should be able to check. I'm going to check right now. Okay. I'm going to... Okay check right now this is where i wish okay. i had some uh some like, well i'll just music. say hi while you're looking i'll just say hi to some people <laughs> mary reno love that seal clap yeah <laughs> fiber gal hey there thank you so um, much Kila. love you too honey it appears yeah. that the memberships have gone through lathander it does appear. And thank you so much for that. I'm sorry we didn't get to it while it was happening. Thank you, You're going to still have to clap. <laughs> <laughs> it all kicked off. The rapture happened. We got booted out of here. But your memberships have still gone through. Thank you so, so yeah, much. Yeah, I think they do that. go in right away. Yeah. Yeah. It looks from where I can see back here, it looks like they have. That is epic. Uh, so thank you so much for that, Lathander. You are awesome. Francisca, I just saw this uh, comment. We need to take back words like rapture. Yes. Belief should not be fear-based. I I so agree with that. Yeah, and I would agree with that too. I'm all for, you know, people be being able to believe whatever they want for freedom of religion. Uh, where I think it stops for me is uh, children being um, abused and terrorized and indoctrinated uh, with fear tactics that's what i don't like yeah so i don't yeah. like i've had this happen so i live in london yeah and in the city um we get we have like preachers and stuff like that and you know people that are just like see jesus needs loves you or whatever that's fine i don't care about that but right. I, someone, I was doing i was doing this job in central london it's early in the morning and i was just uh i was giving out like perfume samples right just to people on the street and I give it out to this guy and he stops me and he's like, hey, like, can I pray for you? And I was like, yeah, man, sure, go for it. Not really knowing what that meant. He puts right. his hand on me. He literally puts his hand on my arm and he starts saying all this stuff about, um, you know, he kept talking about like not, not, not sleeping with other boys and stuff and not getting with loads of guys. I was like, this guy doesn't even know me. And he's... <laughs> And he, he says his thing, he says his prayer, whatever. He looks at me and he goes, just stay away from, stay away from all those boys. And I was like, you don't know me at all. Oh and you are telling me to stop being a little hussy. What in the <laughs> God, you know? <laughs> and wow. and that was quite offensive and quite off-putting, you know? I was like, this seems very judgy from some wow. from someone who's meant to be all about love i didn't i didn't get it and i thought it was a bit wrong but um yeah <laughs> that's what i don't like <laughs> um yeah. shall we go through these let's see ison 
Uh, same in Islam about cremation. Muslims even get buried without a coffin, only wrapped in white linen and facing Mecca. Yeah. yeah. Um, that sounds about right. I think I would prefer to be cremated only because the idea of like worms and stuff eating me. <laughs> I know yeah. I'd be dead, but it just still grows. Well, me. again, worms are fire. I, you know, I feel like it's for the, to me, I just told my family, hey, I don't want to be a big, you know, a burden. It's way more expensive to be embalmed and coffins and all that. Stop, stop me in a vase. I, I don't know. It's like, whatever. Yeah, because then you can sprinkle the ashes. Like when um, my yeah. grandma passed away a couple of years ago and she, she chose cremation and spread her ashes over, you know, a place she really liked. Um, And I don't know. I think it's kind of nice. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Each to their own, I guess. Um, Sarah S. Comment. Marilyn is correct. The best example of this is our new Speaker of the House of Representatives. Google him. He's third in line to the presidency. Is this to do with power? I think it's to do when you were talking yeah. about how much power. He must, he, he must lean very far right. I mean, I don't get into politics on my channel, but at the same time, it's hard to avoid it when you're talking about um, some radical beliefs and, you know, that there are far like extremes, even in, you know, even in politics, even in Congress. So it is scary. All right. I mean, religious, though. You know, I'm not super. Okay Generally, I, so. I mean, okay. not necessarily. I mean, uh, ultra conservative, which. In my mind, it does kind of go. That's one of the one of the extremes as far as being really religious yeah and without bringing up any political issues yeah okay fine 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 keila mcdonald hello thank you for your comment marilyn i love you to be transparent and vulnerable vulnerable i will tell you i was raised in the same i was raised the same indoctrination as you my child essay abuser was his praised and called me a liar by the church oh my gosh so sorry keila you're not alone. So sorry. Yeah, I didn't I didn't even know that, Keela. Bless you, man. Oh, actually, no, you can't say bless you. That's probably triggering. Um That's we sweet. we That's got fun. mad respect for you, Keela. That is um ugh. Yeah. I don't yeah. Even have words. It's it's so common. It's so 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 common. Mm. That's why we need this is why we need like um people like that have your stories as well marilyn someone like you with this stories is um it's helpful you know to speak up for other people who don't can't or aren't ready to you know i soon comment i grew up with mother telling us don't whistle after dark the devil will come and drag you to hell or eat up the food on your plate or half of your head will be missing when you wake up Oh my gosh, there's a part two to it, and I don't think I start it. Ah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I think that's enough to get the image. What the, <laughs> right. That's scary as heck. What the yeah. hell? Oh yeah, my days. No thanks. It's literally like saying monsters are real, isn't it? Brenda says, I admire Marilyn for overcoming. The truth is I never fully have and remain traumatized for my from my Pentecostal childhood. Um, I, I don't feel like I have either, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, if we can just lean on each other and talk about it and be, it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to feel how you feel. Even if you feel like you can't, you can't even get over it. You can't, you can't not believe what's ingrained in you. Um, that's okay. It's okay because baby steps, right. Um, just realizing that, um, my husband really wasn't raptured this morning. You know, and every day I wake up and, and there's so many things, you know, I've talked about this on my channel before about how we talk about triggers, knowing your triggers, right? Um, I think some of us, including myself, are a little too familiar with some of my triggers sometimes, but also know your glimmers, right? And uh, we have each other. Uh, I have Kelly today to to talk to me about this and, and support me. And I have all of you and we all have each other. So uh, it's okay. It's it's okay to not be okay. Is that a, isn't that a book? It is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. 
um you know and as well like um you know I remember I asked you before this like what can I do to sort of help you through this as we're you know looking at the video and looking at this kind of stuff because um it's you're not always going to know how to support the people in your life but you can ask do you them remember what I said tell you. do you remember what I said <laughs> so just be there <laughs> yeah because um, I've been I've been thinking about doing this for a long time you can I couldn't muster the courage until like I decided to ask you and you said you would do this with me so here we are thank you always and you know I'm I'm a bit done with this stuff you guys like I um make jokes and you know I'm like what the heck is this like what about babies like I'll make all kinds of jokes just to try and ease that you know lighten it up a bit as well so that it's not Tiny so hands. heavy <laughs> tiny hands you know what I'm saying um you know but it's all out of, of love because I know um as 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 easily as you cry you also laugh very easily as well so <laughs> I'm right on the surface <laughs> right on the surface yeah yeah um you know but yeah no I'm 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 happy to be here for you with this you know um I'm just sorry it's so difficult um and I hope that this has been helpful for you guys that are watching um and um yeah, if you saw any weird, weird ass movies when you were a kid, just know that that was not right. It won't. No, right. it's not okay. It's not okay. And uh, yeah, I. It does feel better to uh, ugly cry. I ugly cry. No, you don't. You're a cute. Crier. I, don't, I don't think I've actually like heaved cried before till today. Here we go. It's always a first. But it, I think it's uh, it is healing, and I see everyone just really supporting Keela and each other and me. I really appreciate that. Uh Gretchen only we have a we have a licensed therapist in our chat. Love yes. you, Gretchen. Love you, Gretchen. Yeah, she's cool. Uh Mary says, in my humble opinion, I don't feel that faith in God or any higher power should be forced by fear. Yes, honey. Snaps for you. I agree. 100 yeah. percent Absolutely. That's the crux of it. Yep um enola says these horror fests are required viewing for kids i had night terrors from them for years too yeah see there's so many people in here that are exactly the same with this crazy bloody film and i was Mental. wondering why so many people said it was around that nine or ten age like from eight to ten and i think it's because that's what a lot of churches believe you know the right-wing evangelical extreme churches right um, because I have to keep saying that, believe that the age of accountability is around that eight to ten uh, time age, which is you're still a little kid. Yeah, you're literally still tiny as heck. So yes. no deal. Joel McCoyne is in the chat. Hello, Joel. Okay, this is real. An example of how much trauma that is out there. Marilyn and her emotion is so real. Wow. Well, yeah, <laughs> she's she's as real as it gets, peeps. <laughs> Um, and we love I'm you Marilyn <laughs> loads we do we love you so much and you know I always I appreciate you that you you can just be super real about this stuff you know it's not perfect it's not always um it's ugly the truth the truth's not always pretty you know and and the fact that this happened is wrong and we're here to, to call it out uh freedom from religion says question Marilyn did you read the Tim LaHaye books that turned into the Left Behind movies? Yeah. Same kind of crap, but a lot more sophisticated than the 70s right. era version. Yes. Um, I avoided them like the plague. I'm very aware of them. Very aware of them. Um, there were other things called like This Present Darkness about demons. There's all kinds of books out there. They have uh, cleaned up their you know, presentation. It's the same crap, just as you say, freedom from religion. Yeah. It's the same stuff. And it's happening, you know, across the world today. These hell houses, uh, terrorizing children, are absolutely horrific. And they're showing these images that children should not see, should not um, be exposed to in order to scare them straight. Um, Sometimes, I don't, we probably couldn't do this. I don't know if we get copyright strike to playing music backwards. <laughs> mm, <laughs> but, I'm unsure about that one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I have heard there's loads of videos one. like that, right? Like all these hidden demonic messages apparently in yeah. all these popular songs and stuff. Like, I don't know. I think you can hear, you can make out words when you um, 
totally if you you know if they tell you what the thing is you're supposed to be hearing yeah. you can hear it but if you didn't have anything to re- refer to you wouldn't even know oh yeah um, well, let's up on stairway to heaven they would, they would play it backwards and it says uh it's supposed to say my sweet satan the one who's something makes me uh <laughs> something um there's power in Satan or something. I just it was like in stairway to heaven. It was sweet Satan like that, and I'm like, oh. mm. there it is. It. <laughs> they play yeah. it over and over and over till you heard it. You started hearing it. You started. Yeah. It. They're like, listen, listen. And then I couldn't sleep that night. Yeah, it was bad. Good. Clearwater Erie PA says, "Question, Marilyn, can we go through that book sometime?" So, I I did do. I think the first week I had to train a child to train a child train, to train up a child. This was the book that the Duggars also used. This is the has the um, notorious bit blanket training. I did go through this book. If you look in my actual videos, one of my I think it's maybe my very first video on my channel. I did go through this book. Um, I could do it again. I can do a live about it. Uh, I think it's worth I think it's worth bringing it up again because it is very widespread. They've sold this ministry with uh michelle and debbie pearl they've sold uh i think three million uh books materials i don't know if this is the exact book is three million but they're materials it's called no greater joy no greater joy.org wow yeah yeah it's terrible um spritzen on 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 archie Ochi. Question. Uh, wouldn't the eclipse have to happen around the entire Earth at the same time to be a sign of the rapture? Or does it happen for country? It would last forever for an eclipse to be visible. Yeah, I thought it was got to be yeah. three days of darkness is 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 what it says in the thing, isn't it? Three days of darkness? Yeah, but I think it, I think because it went through Texas, <laughs> it, went, it went through the line where though, there's a lot, there's a lot of evangelical. Evangel- so, we're saying, so we was saying it the reason this is the real one is because it goes through a town that's called rapture i'm sure yes and <laughs> it goes through it went I over is. a bunch of ninny nineveh which is the jonah and the whale story and so i went through now I, whenever we talk about these stories i have the songs in my head that i learned as a kid <laughs> there's one that goes oh listen to the tale of jonah and Way down the middle of the ocean, the ocean, God forgave his sin. Salvation went to, entered in. Way down the middle of the ocean, the ocean. And then it talks about how, like, he had to go to Nineveh and uh, people needed to repent and they had 40 days to repent. And if they didn't, I'm not sure what was going to happen. I guess they were all going to swallow, get swallowed by whales. I don't really know. <laughs> why do you but, do 40 days? Like, what? Why don't they just be like, right, you've got like a week? What? <laughs> Why is it 40 days? Because that's one of God's numbers, you know? Okay. There's like 7, 12, 4, 144. Yeah, that's like 12 times 12. Like 12 tribes of Israel. Yeah. Interesting. He likes certain numbers. He didn't like the number 6. No? Nope. No 6. Well, neither did Scientologist, to be fair. I was a suppressive person at 6, so... <laughs> The devil number. <laughs> really, yeah. yeah, right. Exactly. Ison says, comment, Shalice from Cults to Consciousness talks about that awful t- child torture book. I would love to see you talking with her when she's back from the baby pause. That would be great. Yeah. Uh, of course, I would I definitely do that. I, I did reach out to them about maybe six months ago. I haven't heard back. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I don't know if they have a team like that do their booking stuff. I'm not sure how it exactly works, but yeah, you have to send in a video and all that. And I, I didn't have any equipment back then, so I don't know. You do now though, and you've got the Shaw microphone. You've got a better microphone than than I do. <laughs> yeah, but my camera is always blurry. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll get it sorted. We'll get it sorted. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, Love says, uh, "I'm, uh, I'm the same. The same. I'm the same. same. I'm the same, Marilyn. Always on the verge of tears, haha. But they're tears of healing. Yeah, yep. 
Yeah. yeah, there's nothing wrong with crying. I always just just want to hug when when you. I know I know you get upset really easy. I just want to jump in the screen and give you a hug. <laughs> <laughs> but soon I'll give you a real hug, and it's going to be. Yes, great. I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, Freedom from religion says comment. One thing I did pick up on, even while I was still a committed Christian, was that the signal signs signal signs people would use to say the end is near. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been all through the ages, I'm sure. And when I was a kid, yeah, in the 70s, I there was a family in our church that said, you know, the end times is here, are here. There were all kinds of wars and the rumors of wars and, you know, famines and all over the world, right? There's always that. There's always that. But they were like, no, we're going to move to Alaska. They went off the grid. And then a couple of years later, they came back and they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I guess God changed his mind. It was too soon. We had a false start. It was too soon. It was yeah. too soon. <laughs> the Jehovah's Witnesses have done the same thing. Um, they had, I forgot it was 19 something. You know, they kept moving the date and they just stopped setting a date after a while. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Buffy Summers. Yeah. No one knows when the world's going to end. That's what it says in the Bible. And, yeah. Oh. <sighs> What else do you want I mean, to do? We could get more? we could get hit by literal meteorites at any point, you know, or someone could set off a nuclear bomb or something. Like there's loads of ways the world could end that yeah. have nothing to do with horsemen or trumpets or anything. Although, you know, <laughs> they will bring that in. <laughs> hey, you got some memberships. Look at this. Beach Coma. Hey, thank, thank you, you. Beach Coma. Honestly, yeah, on a, so you guys that have become members, it's so awesome. And I'm so grateful for all of you guys that have done that. It's amazing. Um, yeah, yeah, I hope you're enjoying the songs. Thank you, Midnight, Midnight Show. Stella. Amazing. And then one yes. other one I want to pop up is where is it? Oh, Kelly's doing the British invasion. <laughs> yeah, Support absolutely. her trip to America. You can, there's her, her PayPal. Yeah, no, no stress on that though, guys. Like yeah, a bunch no pressure. Of people but... Already, already did send me some, um, send me some donations for that, which is great. I've got my travel insurance now. I'm all safe. Yay. I'm safe in, in case uh, any anything crazy goes down. So that's good. Um, and I also got some microphones, which is great. So I'll Yay. be able to uh, do some interviews um, while we're roaming and stuff like that because I don't know exactly what's going down yet, um, but it should be super exciting, and I cannot wait um to to go out there and yeah share all the stuff with you guys so thank you for everyone that has supported uh really really appreciate that um what else we got? You got any more you want to read out what do um do? there was one i don't think i can find it about um uh, freedom from religion said see my earlier tattoo comment please i didn't see that if you want to try to do it again we can try to find it but Sorry about that. I was tuning in from Niagara Falls. Hello, Poe. Yes, nice to see I, you. I saw him in Buffalo with Clearwater Chad. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got a super chat here from Anne Casillas. Thank you for that. Uh, whoever you gave it to. Closed minds hide closed abuses behind closed doors is kind of how I see all fundamental sects of any religion. I hear you. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. So I hear you. Yeah, I think any any group, there's always going to be weird, dodgy things that go on behind the scenes, right? And unfortunately, um, this has happened loads with these, you know, cults, uh, some religious mm -hmm. stuff as well. Um, and I think it's important that we call it out. I think that's all we can do here as people that have gone through this stuff. All we can do is bring attention to it and say, y'all, this is wrong. <laughs> Right? Absolutely. So I unstarred some things, but there's a few more comments if you want to go through some oh, of them. Oh, yeah. I am the worst for unstarring, okay. Marilyn. I will never unstar them because <laughs> I just I just fly through them and I'm like, yeah, great. We can keep going. Um, Kate D says, comment, this is the reason why my mother fled her religion for Dianetics, Sciento, not better at all. That's the funnest spelling of Dianetics I've ever seen. It looks yeah, like, like a band, <laughs> like a band name. It does. Um, yeah, well, yeah, she didn't look out, unfortunately. Dianetics is a no better. You are completely right, Kate. Um, hope she's out of that now, though. Let us know yeah. in the comments if she is out of Scientology now. Um, Gregory Nitsky? Nitsky? 
Who knows? <laughs> Comment. The JWs were recently condemned for showing Armageddon porn at yeah. conferences. <laughs> I tried to not get demonetized, guys. I know, yeah. <laughs> <Right. Exposing. laughs> I was like, oh, crap, I've already started the word. <laughs> uh, exposing children. I think the EU has stopped has it. stopped it. Wait. Oh, okay. I've never so heard of Armageddon. E word. I've never heard corn. of that. But... Armageddon corn. That's what Armageddon I should have said. Corn. Yeah, I haven't heard of corn <laughs> like that. <laughs> no, me neither. But that is awful. Um, I'm glad that they have stopped showing that to children for sure. Um, Pamela SP Butterfly says, comment, this type of stuff is why we have decided that the church we grew up in isn't safe for our boys. I refuse to do this to them. Yeah, and good on you, Pamela, for yeah. uh, you know looking out for your kids like that because Absolutely. you know sometimes it's just can be generational. Hey, and yeah. just bring up the next generation, next generation. Um, so yeah, thanks. Break the cycle. Break the cycle. Heck yeah. Uh, John Van Geest says there is a reason that this stuff is pushed on kids. It's because kids' brains literally haven't developed enough to tell the difference between fantasy and yeah. reality. They hard code it in kids. Yeah. Yeah. Good yeah. point. Mm. Yeah. And if adults are telling you this stuff is real, of course you're going to believe it. Yeah. You know, it's not your yeah. fault at all. Like, of course you're going to believe it. Um, thank you for that one. Yeah, and you know, yeah. my, my youngest son, Carter, he was said, he's like, wait a minute. Now, kids are supposed to believe that, okay, there, you know, there isn't a Santa. Sorry to, to tell people. Around what, well, nine or 10? <laughs> Around nine or 10 is usually when kids start asking, is there really a Santa? You know, but you're still supposed to believe in Jesus. So he was just like, wait, there's no Santa, but Jesus is real. Huh, it makes like, sense. Ugh, Jesus doesn't bring me presents, so you know what I mean. <laughs> well, exactly. Bummer. He just Devoid. brings fire and brimstone. <laughs> a, lot <of> rules. <laughs> a lot of rules. Fibro Girls says, comment, the rapture is messing with YouTube. First, you were taken off. Second, my tablet won't connect to Wi-Fi. And now I can't hear you. Oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> the devil must yep. be the devil. <laughs> Must be. Must be God. <laughs> it's it's Devil Zeno and the Body Thetans. They are working mm -hmm. in tandem, and uh, that's where that we are. Sounds like a band, <laughs> Zeno and the Body Thetans. I love that. I love that. <laughs> it, is, it does sound like a band. <laughs> Keela McDonald, hello, Keela. Says, come in. Marilyn, they seem to all have that in common. They cover up child SA. I just turned 50 two weeks ago. Oh my God, happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday. Yes. And I went to my sister's wedding on Saturday. Oh my gosh, so many fun activities oh, yeah, happening yeah. in your life, Kayla. <laughs> um, I felt I was 12 years old again. Her dad is my abuser. Oh my goodness. Oh Wow. Well, that end bit sucks, but yeah. I hope the other parts were good and you had a fun birthday um, and that your sister's wedding was good. <sighs> it's horrible when, um, you know, these people are still in our lives, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Nothing more to say on that one, really. Um, Pamela SP Butterfly comment. I really appreciate discussion about the cultiness of some Christian groups. I have a lot of similar stuff I'm unpacking for on my culty denomination. Yeah. Yeah. We're not saying all, <laughs> we're not saying everyone's in a cult. We're not saying right. that. Yeah. But, you know, cults can take things from existing religions and weave them into a, their own little doctrine so they can control a group of people to do their bidding right mm -hmm. you know and and we really we really need to make that distinction um you know the if uh, they're taking money from you separating from your family um you know and and uh, imbuing you with all these dangerous beliefs and stuff then yeah. it's you might be in a cult um yeah. but yeah we're not saying that um, I feel like you don't have freedom are. of thought right if you don't have freedom that's that's when that's a exactly flag. yeah and lots of things can get culty you know even even youtube can get culty you know so yep. yep awesome um let's see der awa I hope I said that right. Uh, this does show how powerful Christian denominations are. They do have quite a backing by mainstream Christianity and thus a lot of freedom in interpreting breaking the law. Interesting. I can't speak to that. I don't know um, a lot about that. But what um, do you think? I, I would I would uh, just, you know, add or 
bring to uh, light the fact that um, a lot of Christian groups will be inclined to stick up for another if they feel th that their, their tax status is threatened. Like there have been denominations that have come forward in um, support of Scientology because not because they believe in Scientology, not that they believe that that's even a true church, but because they don't want to have the slippery slope situation. Okay. And some, you know, some churches, I'll just say churches, um, some groups, I'm not saying they not old denominations, but some groups are guilty of some of the same things that Scientology is guilty of. And if they start looking into that, then you got the slippery slope. And I think that's um, one thing, you know, I got out of this comment is that um, you would have the backing of mainstream in order to protect what they feel is uh, their rights and a possible slippery slope. Yeah, no, I think that's a really, really good point. Um, Gregory Nitsky says, Common, this is never addressed in the church and they carry on doing it. It's critical to speak out against it. Yeah, and, you know, we are lucky here on YouTube that we can have these conversations, right? We might get we might get struck for things and taken down or whatever. Raptured. <laughs> but it's so important to have these conversations, yeah. you know. We don't all need to agree. We don't all need to have the same opinion. And I want to hear from people who have other opinions to me. Like, I want to hear people that have had different experiences to me because I'm not claiming to be an expert um you know and I think people can get really angry about this topic about religion topics and stuff um yeah. when actually all we're trying to do is have a conversation about it you know and uh yeah just discuss it yeah. so and I think that should be allowed and we're going to continue to do that you know no matter what <laughs> um, and yeah um I don't know how are you feeling Marilyn after going through all this <laughs> I, I guess I feel relieved I mean I wanted to get this out it was really really hard really ugly <laughs> but um I yeah I think it's I think it's important to get the word out and it's very so many nuances to it and, I, and I'm always tiptoeing because I'm afraid of offending someone um and getting people to feel defensive about their own faith. I'm not trying to attack anybody's faith. And I'm not trying to say that people shouldn't be able to teach their children their own religion, right? But when it comes into, um, like what happened with me, I was a ward of the state. I was adopted into a huge family. I wasn't given, and, and I'm just saying, I'm not seeing even laws maybe enacted, but I think that people need to be aware. Like that's, it's, it's okay to say no to a religious group, a, even a church, you know, a cult, whatever, that I'm not going to put my kids through this. It's not worth it. It's not right. And God wouldn't, if God is love, he He wouldn't want that either. So I just wanted to put this one up thing up, uh, Buffy Summers, Scientology is a cult, not a church. I totally agree with that. Um, I don't think that it should have had its, its tax, um, exemption or even be called a religion or a church. And I think that we call things churches that may be cults and call things cults that may be churches. I don't know. I don't know. But using what you said, Kelly, about, um, you know, having a charismatic leader or even having, you know, not having your own, you know, choices, your own will, having the isolation, the indoctrination mm -hmm. and all that. Those are things that only you can decide whether you're really in a cult or not. Yeah. You know? People in people in Scientology can't even tell non-Scientologists what Scientology is about. They're not even allowed to talk about yeah. it. They have to be That's like, true. go and read a book. You know, they're yeah. not even allowed to express yeah. in their own words what their religion is. They're not allowed yeah. to. Um, which I think is a big red flag that it's a cult, yeah. you know. <laughs> and um, not only a cult, but a business. <laughs> Well, you they call to... it technology. Yeah, they're, they're like, right. this is our technology. But when it comes down to media things and stuff, they'll be like, this is our religion, but not right. inside when they're, you know, doing courses and stuff like that. No one talks about our religious services and our religion. They're talking about their courses, their technology, their wins, their gains, their, you know, journey up the bridge to total fucking nonsense. Like, that is what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know? So it's all, yeah, it's it's for tax exemption purposes only. We need to just 
we need to just ex- everyone knows we all know okay guys <laughs> yeah thank as you as everyone as for your, <laughs> for your um input i mean i'm just gonna put this up because this is something that's come up a lot in discussions and even in my own life the things I struggle with, right? Brenda, I was horrified at the idea of Jesus on a cross. And I talked to Doug, Doug Kramer about this. He said, why are Christians so, so morbid, you know, so obsessed with Jesus on a cross and wearing a gold cross around a torture your device. <laughs> it's a t- device of torture. Yeah. And I'm just putting it out there. I'm not saying you shouldn't have a cross, but that's just for me. This is, it is, it's morbid. It scared me as a dad, as a child, me too. Why would God require that of him? Might make sense if all, <clears throat> if saved all people from hell, would only some, I couldn't grasp it. Yeah. All, all valid questions. Yeah. You know. No, I don't get that as well. And it's like, he's kind of the worst dad ever. You know, like this is his own kid. And he's like, well, you should, you need to die for all my other creations. Like, listen. I think metaphorically, I can get why people have a faith in it, but to think of it literally, I I struggle with it personally, um, you know, and that's that's my beliefs and stuff, you know, which um, I don't really want to get into that on on this channel and talking about my own <laughs> how I feel about it and stuff because, well, to be honest, I think it will just annoy people. <laughs> um, but I grew up in a cult, so you can't really judge me for not believing in, yeah, you know. I can't imagine someone like you who, who's looking at it from the outside and hadn't been indoctrinated and lo- raised in it is like, isn't this like human sacrifice? But then what yeah. they say is that Jesus was God. He's part of, you know, there's all kinds of theology you can talk about. Um, so it was just confusing because it was like, well, if you just believe, then you'll understand. <laughs> just believe it. Mm. Yeah. You don't so. hate it. You love it. <laughs> it's just like, like Marmite. Marmite. Exactly yeah. the same. You know, <laughs> everything can be just be boiled down to Marmite. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> All roads lead to Marmite. It's true. Do you like it or not? I can't decide. <laughs> hmm. I went to open it the other day and it's like, it's stuck. So I had to have Duncan open it. And then by the time we got it open, I was like, ah, eh, I'm not going to, I'm not going to eat it. <laughs> it's too much yeah, work. That, that, that does happen with the Marmite. If you get it on the side, it will, it will glue your lid on forevermore. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> well, Everything. you know, I didn't know if it would, um, I, I don't know. I didn't know if it would be different at that. We now can, she we is- can, Add some hot water and kind of melt it off. You know, we can we can reset the bottle. It'll be all right. Yeah, because it's still pretty much full. I don't want it to go into waste. I guess it it, lasts it will a last long time. forever. <laughs> it will. But you know, you notice know Dayspiria said, uh, "What is it? Everything is marmite. Not marmite is everything." <laughs> so everything it is like is you'll either love it or you hate it. I guess. Yeah. So we got any more things we want to wrap up with? Thank you guys for all your patience. Oh my god, this was insane. Round two, and we stayed on live. Yay! <laughs> Marmite sucks. We'll just sit here and talk about Marmite. I guess that <laughs> Vegemite is amazing. Uh, for a Scientology audit, I had to just put it in there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what do you think, honey? <laughs> I think we've done it. I think we've come we with the it. rapture. We've come back from the rapture. We got raptured at one point. We did. You know, Thank you, everyone that stuck through this and came back. Marilyn, I commend you on your absolute courage and bravery talking about this stuff because I know it's really hard. No, thank um, you so much for being here. Thank you, everybody in the chat. Please uh, like and subscribe if you like what you see. And also, yeah. um, I do read every single comment. I know Kelly reads her comments. Please, if you have any questions or comments, just leave it, leave it right in the uh, comment section, and I'll try to get to as many as I can. And uh, you could also contact us by email, coffeecultsandcrafts at gmail.com and hello, kellycopter at gmail. Is that it? Hello, kellycopter at yeah. gmail.com. gmail.com. Yes. There it is. Yes. yes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm going to set the outro. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Cheers. Mm, this is good coffee. This is why, you know, my hobby makes the coffee. 